Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Tech with Mega. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a local Kubernetes cluster using Minikube. So what are the tools that is required to create a Kubernetes cluster? Kubernetes official document provides us Minikube kind QDDM. So these are the tools, open source tool that helps in creating the Kubernetes cluster. So for this video, I'll be using Minikube. What are the steps that we need to perform? We need to install kubectl, install minikube, require a hypervisor like docker or virtualbox. So before creating the cluster and installing this open source tool, let us understand what a kubectl is and what a minikube is. So what is minikube? Minikube is known as an open source tool. It is called as one node cluster. We can use Minikube setup. So let me write it. It's a one node cluster. So we can use Minikube setup to create cluster locally. Usually Minikube is not recommended for production purpose. As production environment will have master node, worker node, various database resources, memory usage will be more, space required will be more. Since this is only a one node cluster, it's best suited if we are testing something in a local system or we are uh, learning Kubernetes as a beginner. So this will be the best way to start your Kubernetes journey. And how are we going to use this mini cube in our local system? So how are we going to interact? So for that, we'll be using VirtualBox. So in my case, I have installed Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. I'll be providing you with the link and all the commands that I'll be running in this uh, tutorial. I'll be providing all those things in the comment section so that you can directly copy those things. Okay, now what is kubectl? Once we create a cluster using Minikube, we need to interact with it. We need to interact with Kubernetes resources, pods, nodes, services, many other components. So how are we going to do that? For that, we'll be using kubectl. So what is kubectl? Kubectl is a command line tool provided for Kubernetes. So we need to install VirtualBox. So this is the link. I'll be providing that in uh, the comment section. So once you install the VirtualBox on your system, you'll get a dialog box similar to this. So here Minikube is there, but initially for your case, you won't have any Minikube node running here. Fine. So once the virtual box is done, the next step is to clear, install kubectl and Minikube. How are we going to do that? So just go to the official documentation page. Even it is .io. Go to documentation section. Go to task, go to install tools. And here you can see that they are providing install kubectl for Linux, Macs, and Windows. I'll be using Windows since my system is Windows. So we can either download the latest release or run the curl command. In my case, I'll download it. Uh, it's downloading. So we'll go back one step and we'll install Minikube also. So just click on Minikube. So here you will see that it's uh, telling us what are the requirements to CPUs, to GB, and virtual machine manager. So in our case, we are using VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox. We can select the options Linux, Macs, or Windows, and then install the Minikube also. So I'll here it is providing us to download it or run the command, but I'll download it. So yeah, so it's been downloaded. So I'll just copy both of this and place it in a new folder so that it's easy to recognize. So I have copied them. Go to C. Create a new folder. After creating it, we'll just paste it here. I'll just change the name of it. Rename. Same way for Minikube also. So now we have 
uh, completed with the installation of Minikube and kubectl. So let us check whether it's actually installed or not. Open the command line and run Minikube version command. Version. As you can see that the Minikube version, it's showing us a Minikube version as uh, v1.25.2. That means the installation is completed. So the next step is we need to install the cluster using Minikube. So let's copy the command. So that's the command and we'll be providing the virtual box as our driver. So since we are doing it for the first time, it would take some uh, around three to four minutes. So I'll be resuming the video after that. Now that we have uh, created the cluster, let us check the Minikube status. So here you can see that it's in uh, running condition. So we'll just open the Oracle uh, virtual box and here you can see a node with the name of Minikube is running. Let's check the nodes by running kubectl get nodes. So here you can see a node with the name of Minikube version 23.3 is configured. So we have a cluster created. So the next thing is we'll run kubectl config get context command. This will uh, indicate that uh, in which cluster we are in. Say for example, if you are having more than one cluster running and if you want to switch between the clusters, so that time we can run this command. So here, as you can see, we have only one cluster that is Minikube. So the name Minikube has been given and the cluster name is also there. So the current star, so here star indicates that at present we are uh, running this cluster. Star indicates uh, that Minikube cluster is running. And if you want to switch between the clusters, we can run kubectl config set command. And here we need to provide the cluster name. So as you can see, it's been modified to Minikube. Since we have only one cluster here, that's why it is uh, showing the same cluster here. So the next thing is that we can uh, uh, check the Minikube dashboard also. So for that, we need to run this command. Let's see. Okay, I have not copied it properly. Let me copy it. Minikube dashboard. So we have run the command. Let's wait for the URL. So here we are enabling the dashboard using Kubernetes UI. Yeah, so this is the URL. Just copy this and open it in browser. So yeah, so this is Kubernetes dashboard and here you can see what are the jobs, what are the pods that are running, services, config map, secrets, namespaces, nodes. Since we have configured only one node in our cluster, so it's running Minikube and we can see the other details also about it. So yeah, so that's it for the tutorial about how to set up the Kubernetes cluster using Minikube. If this tutorial is helpful, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. And if you have any queries, you can provide that in comment section. Till then, see ya. Bye.